season for love is everything I've come to expect and love from a Hallmark film. This was released in 2018, directed by Jill Carter, written by Heather R. Provost and Scott Damien. And this stars Autumn Reeser, who I've seen in a few Hallmark films, uh, as our protagonist Tyler Dawson. And we have Mark Lucas as Corey Turner. Um, I also have to say that Lola Flannery, who played Rosie, Tyler's daughter, I loved her performance. I thought she was brilliant. In this one, Tyler and her daughter Rosie return to Red Rock, which is in Texas, during the summer vacation. And she helps out at her mother's restaurant while she's there and decides to sign off, sign off, sign up for the, for the town's annual barbecue cook-off. And while she's there, it transpires that a famous TV chef uh, or a celebrity chef is going to be returning to Red Rock to also take part in this cook-off. That famous chef is Cory Turner, who used to be her childhood sweetheart. As one can expect from a Hallmark film, they bump into each other pretty quickly once he's back in Red Rock and the sparks begin to ignite again. Will they? Won't they? I'm not going to say, but it's a Hallmark film. You can figure it out, I think. With regards to the competition, it worked really well. We have three stages. We have the, um, well, I guess the entry phase and then the semi-finals and then then the finals. It's very predictable. It's very, very predictable with how that's going to go down, but it doesn't detract from how enjoyable it is. I think that Tyler and Corey have a great relationship autumn reeser and mark lucas have a great on-screen chemistry i really enjoyed watching these characters spend time with each other me as a viewer getting to know them both more and i don't think at any point it was too unbelievable and i say that because there are a lot of hallmark films where a boy meets a girl and instantly they're proposing uh, and you know it didn't feel forced it felt quite natural there is one thing that I didn't like, and Tyler basically threw a tantrum. Um, it's relatively near the end after a bit of a twist occurs. Something quite dramatic happens, and you'll know what I mean when you see it. But after that, Tyler is very disheartened. Of course she is, completely understandable. And then Corey offers her some kind of comfort and support, and she just throws a tantrum and storms back in the house. And I feel like that was out of character for her, at least with Corey, to react that way. But apart from that, I really enjoyed it. Yes, it's predictable. But it's got everything I wanted from a Hallmark film. And honestly, the setting was beautiful. The locations were gorgeous. The supporting characters were great. I really liked her mother, Jo, played by Shelley Thompson. And as I said, uh, Rosie, as as the daughter, was um, really interesting as well. She liked art. She she enjoyed sketching. Um, I thought she was a pretty well-developed character who I quite liked. I can't really fault it, apart from that small little tantrum that Tyler had. Everything felt like it was meant to be there. And, you know, the antagonists were not that bad. Um, they could have been a lot worse. They didn't over-dramatise things in a way that, were, that was unbelievable. In terms of being realistic, not needing to suspend disbelief, and really getting along with the decisions the characters made, for the most part, this is probably one of the best Hallmark films In terms of the narrative, I really enjoyed it. Predictable? Yes. Hallmark style? Yes. Season for Love, I watched it on the Hallmark channel on Amazon Prime. Absolutely recommend it.